Pete Sampras was started out serving. First set. Yeah. Sampras to set. Sampras, first point, first set. This is 500th career hard court match. Only Andre Agassi and Michael Chang have played on a hard court more often in the open era. Well, they've talked about the old guard fading away and the new brigade coming in. Isn't it great to see these two 30 year olds battling away? Just unfortunate they've got to play comparatively so early on in the tournament quarterfinals. I think that's what makes this match up that much more special why it's gotten so much attention because these guys are both over 30 now. Sampras gets his first winner of the match. 15 all. It's 15 all. Pete Sampras has never lost a night match at the US Open. The only man to have that record. Thirty. <laughs> It's ace number one, 107 mile an hour kicker out wide. Oh dear. Ouch. <laughs> Under 20 mile an hour bullet that hit the center lines person. Second ace for Sampras, and it's 40 15. Sampras with a routine hold to start this match. He leads one line. That must be really encouraging for him. He's quickly into his stride. And he's already he's delivering the there, so serves see. at 120 and he's already put down one at 131 miles an hour. And now that we'll was get, the last serve. And now we'll get a look at Andre Agassi's serve for the first time tonight. And he starts with an ace. Agassi, by making it to the quarterfinals, has achieved some tennis history. He has now gotten to a quarterfinal Grand Slam for the second time in his career, in which he's reached the quarters of all four Grand Slams the same calendar year. First time he did it was in 95. This is coach Brad Gilbert. Andreas has won every Grand Slam. He's won all four over the years. And five men to do that: Fred Perry, Don Budge, Roy Emerson, Rod Laver. Good race. And the dark glasses. The trainer. Andreas. Haven't seen Steffi though. I don't think we will see her until the baby's born. But there is that. Backhand return that destroyed Patrick Rafter. Saw this a lot the other day against Rafter. Of course, Andre Agassi and Steffi Graf, as David mentioned, expecting a baby boy in mid December, so Steffi not traveling. He's still with a chance to hold at 40 30.
Agassi went hot. Sampras punishing Agassi from the ground. Yes. Agassi was up 40 15. Now we're back to Deuce. Responds. I don't think Andre Agassi is going to let Pete Sampras dictate play from the back. Well, this match has started off at such a high level. Whether they can maintain this for the next goodness knows how many hours is questionable. I think they. I think they can. Start this match. Andre Agassi has won more hardcore titles than any other player. 37 in his career, four this year. I'm sure, he would trade those other four in. Well, maybe not the Australian Open. He'd trade three of them in if he could get a U.S. Open title to get Grand Slam number eight. Well, I think the major key of this match. When it's a matter of this quality, is Sampras's serve. If Sampras uh, holds his serve easily, Agassi will always be battling to hold his, because he'll be spending more time serving. And at the moment, Sampras is serving well. In fact, very well. But against the best returner in the game, when Sampras's serve is on song, even the best returner of the game is not going to be level with him. I've seen Sampras do this before, but it's early days yet, and we all know that. But it's looking good start for Sampras. That match against Rafter did him a world of good. He became almost animated at the end. He was so pleased with his victory. 30, 30. Well, he said he approached it like a final. Well, there's another final here. In fact, yeah. every match from, from the last out. 16. Yeah. For Sampras, it was a final and is a final. And will be if he gets through it. He's already aspiring very heavily. Oh. 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 latched onto that. Even now at 30 all. Yeah. And I guess he jumped on that too quick. Snipers was behind him. Quick he gets on this ball. Just off the bounce, he's on it. And there's a dipping ball right into Sampras' shoes almost. And the first break point of the match. Soon to be erased. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sampras has come out of the box averaging 118 miles an hour on his first serve.
Just wide. These are moments of truth, really, for both players. Sampras has got to believe he's serving well to serve well. Agassi wants to sow the seed of doubt straight away. Open exchange is very important. It sets the pattern. Sampras picks that up off his shoelaces and gets him a chance to hold serve. What a pick. That's almost impossible, but he did it. Couldn't have been a better return for him, I guess he surely. Right at his feet, bounce just in front of him. Left. Left. Sanford's not sure about the let. Sometimes that electronic monitoring device, players can't hear it, but it registers at the umpire's chair. Sampras holds, and it's 2-1 to start this match on Sampras serve. Sampras leads two games to one. So this classic has just begun. Andre Agassi serving at 1-2 in the first set. And Andre Agassi talking about things going on off the court. He's got a lot of adjusting to do. Is he's going to have a baby here in December? So you see, it's interesting where his life goes. Yeah, you see, he's now got responsibility for a child. He's with uh, Steffi Graf. There are differences here. Okay. Agassi, this is the second coming. He dipped, of course, as we know, a few years ago, and has resurrected his career. And he knows every tournament to him is really important because he didn't do justice to his unbelievable skills. And now Pete Sampras quickly goes up love 40, and we'll have three break points on Andre Agassi's serve. See, so, whereas Pete Sampras has been at the top for years, has never been outside the top. Thank you. Few. So for him, he's just relaxing away a little bit. Now he's back in the big time. And he's back in the big time, able to win another Grand Slam race for Agassi. This is his chance over the next one or two years. He knows he hasn't got that long left to yes. capture as much as he can. It's the first time Agassi struggled on serve tonight, 15-40. And Sanford stopped the shot. Didn't swing through it like we see on that back end. Now I can see. Still facing a break point, but has won the last two. Now Sampras fails to take advantage of three break opportunities, and it's deuce. Committed two unforced errors. This game and the last game, really, really close battles. There's very little between these two, isn't there? Paul Anacone, Pete Sampras's coach, and no problem.
Well, David, we've seen Sampras here early in this match stay on the baseline. Trade ground strokes for that. Well, he can't get in uh, for the moment simply because Agus is driving the ball so deep and, and good angles. But we have seen him uh, off the serve try to get in and against Rafter especially. He would but here you've got Agassi serving. He would chip that serve back and try to get into the net immediately. Rafter serves just a little bit slower. Uh, Rafter serves slowly so he can get in. Yeah, Both different yeah. types of players. Rafter the serve volley up. So Andre Agassi holds on. It's too all to start two this match. Agassi let Pete Sampras smell three break points. But Agassi comes through. Fifteen. Three aces now for Pete Sampras. This is third service game. Three miles an hour. Well, I guess he guessed right. Couldn't get it over the net. That's what makes this matchup so intriguing, David. They both have played so many times; they know exactly what the other's going to do. It's just a matter of who's sharper on that on that match. I think it's who's sharper on the night. You're absolutely right. And at the moment, you still couldn't really believe who's going to win this. But uh, Samus has knocked over three aces in that game. Is that indicative of what's going to happen? Because if serves like that. Nobody can get anything back from his serves. So far, these two not disappointing. We're on serve. In this first set, Andre Agassi serving at 2 3. For five games, Agassi has committed just one unforced error. And that's the place Agassi would like to keep Sampras on that baseline. He doesn't want to see him at the net, and therefore Agassi's got to produce, as he always does, by and large, deep, deep shots and keep Sampras back. against Patrick Rafter. It's his second backhand winner. So two off the return like that. Second big 
backhand from Sampras in this game. Agassi still with a chance to hold. Line to the corner to corner, and then there was the opening. Well, both are playing really well. Both are, I was just saying, Sam, both are moving well as well. Both are delivering high quality shots, and it's a match which is absolutely and totally intriguing. And the Sampras in the right place at the right time. And not by coincidence, either. No. Nope. By design. This is comfort zone. This is sometimes when you do look at statistics, and when he does get his first serve, and he practically wins every time. 15 out of 16 is one, and it is the greatest serve in the world. That's acknowledged by all the players. I remember Pat Rafter last year at Wimbledon when he got beaten, just acknowledged that San Francisco's serve is just unbeatable, certainly on grass. And it's remember this is very fast court. Game game game. Game. San Francisco. Well, Sean Andre obviously just one great New point, balls. but other than that, his crews through Sampras his first four service games, games. He leads 4 3 here in the first set in this men's singles quarterfinal. Agassi serving at 3 4, first set. Looked to be there, but the ball just took off when it hit the court. And look, it goes right out to the angle. Sampras didn't even try in the no. end. The rolls are reversed, and what a great shot from Sampras. The running backhand from Sampras. His third winner from that side. Isn't that good? Agassi at the net, Sampras on the baseline. Sampras wins the point. He keeps that head down. Yeah, talk about a role reversal. <laughs> but that's what's good about Agassi. He's not afraid to uh, come in. And he can volley really well. 14 of 18 tonight from the net. It was there, wasn't it? For Agassi, it was there. For the rest of the mortals, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, th this is really crucial. Agassi, 3 4 down, 15 30 down. If he drops his serve here, he could almost say goodbye to the set. A, a telling statistic just two unforced errors for Agassi, yet you kind of feel like Sampras has had more opportunities this set. And he's there you are. These are crucial points. He's found a way to lift his level.
Look at this, eye on the ball. That forehand comes across. He's a great winner. Rafter knows all about that forehand, actually, from the other night. He took a pounding and quite a few points. Jeez, the tip. You can see Sampras trying to get into the net yeah, behind that serve. Chance for Andre Agassi to hold. Level this set at four all. Game. Oh, Agassi. Bad save, was it? Not at all. Right oh, down the it. middle. Well, seems well, not well. the fastest server in the game, but a very deceptive serve as Sampras's is. Can move it around. A lot of movement on the serve once it hits the court. Four all. That's number six for Pete Sampras. And that uh, is the same as his fastest serve. It's 131 miles an hour. That's the second time he's done that. It did take off. Left. Now Sampras getting 71% of his first serves in the court. And that is going to be tough for Andre Agassi to overcome. We may see a lot of tiebreakers. Unless Agassi falters on his serve. Fifteen. It's a death that yeah. That's a There's a shock. Well, you have the same situation as you had before. Agassi had just held his serve. Sampras had those points to break. And now Agassi hopefully hoping to do the same to his opponent. With his serve to come this time. Very good. Very good. Very good. It's so quick was the return. Sampras only got to the T junction. Usually he's another couple of yards in. I was going to say we've seen him pick those up in this first set. Not that time, and it's 30 all. It's 30 all. If you're the returner, this is a, a big chance. And Agassi standing just a fraction further back. Oh. He's standing maybe a little bit nearer. He'll step in for sure. Yep, he's just moved in just a little. Sampras guides that one in the open court as we see his wife, Bridget. Good thing for Pete Sampras that she really enjoys being out here. So she really has a good time at one of these events. They took two and a half months off after they got married. That is a rare, that should go in the museum. <laughs> uh, that's a rarity when he misses a volley like that. <laughs> Pretty hard maybe for most people, but for Sampras, that's a comfortable area. You mentioned comfort zone, that was a comfort zone volley for Sampras. Could prove costly. I guess you've seen just one break chance in this opening set. Let's uh, 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 Sampras really trying to use that serve out wide. And now it goes down the middle. And it's number seven. 127. Game. 
Sampras. A very clean match so far. Both men with more winners than unforced errors. And Andre Agassi will be serving at 4 5 on serve here in the first set. Anticipation in this massive stadium in this night, uh, quite cool. Everyone waiting to see who breaks first. Titanic wall, not just on the court, but in the head as well. well. Sampras trying to hit winners off the Agassi serve this game. Not successful, and it's 40 love. Tiebreakers. And just to let you all know, if you did go to a fifth set, <laughs> it would be a tiebreaker. That wouldn't have done it's open ended. Five all, first set. <laughs> it, you know, it just takes the breath away, doesn't it? Uh, and that was a terrific <laughs> service. Nice angle. I guess it kills. Still couldn't split these two. You just can't split them. He's standing a long way outside that baseline. Couldn't make any difference. The contrast in their games is equivalent to the contrast in their dress. Agassi in his dark shorts and dark top, and Sampras in white. Top and white shorts, black and white. Quite clear distinction between the two in every way. Snapper's breaking out the black shoes for the first time in this U.S. Open. Normally his shoes are white and grey. I can see onto it very quickly. Couldn't control the pace. I mean, He's taking it so early. Great eyesight, how he picks the ball up. He's picking the ball up as soon as the ball leaves Sampras' racket, as all good players should do. But with that ball coming at you at 120 miles an hour, that was actually 114. And he's taking it at the top of the bounce. And you've got this six foot one giant charging down towards you as well. Breathtaking, some of his returns. Can't get hold of the last couple of years. Oh, is yeah, yeah, yeah. really good. Okay. So they're not all flat either, they spin up as well. There's a variety of different serves flat, side spin, kick. So Agassi unable to get a good look in this service game. Sampras serving at 40 15. Oh. So Pete Sampras will make Andre Addison hold to send this first set into a tiebreaker. Six games to five. So Andre Agassi now serving to try to send this first set into a tiebreaker. Five six. Lucky like team.
15 all. Thrash Stadium, the most popular place to be in New York. Pete and Andre under the lights. Obviously, took a long look at it. Sandra said that ball way out in front of him. That's the way to do it, as they say. Ball well in front of him, and he just stepped in. And they were a good smack at running. Actually, Santos, two points from the set. 30 all. Don't blink. This could be it. Oh, that close. He was going for it. He holds on, and just as we predicted earlier, a tiebreaker will decide set number one, much to the delight of those here in Arthur Ashe Stadium. Yeah, it's becoming quite a bit of a rumble. A rumble in New York. And as the night goes on and the beer is consumed, <laughs> I think uh, it'll get even crazier in here. Standing room only, people standing on the rails. Sample to deliver them right there. One zero. Actually, did well to get the serve back, but that's a surprising miss for Sampras. And a mini break to start the tiebreaker. Pete Sampras has won more tiebreakers than anyone in the history of tennis. 130 miles an hour serve. And Agassi still got it back, forcing the error. Works. It's first man to seven. You have to win by two. And the switch ends every six points. And Sanford just gets the mini break back. Just out of shot, there's a bull boy on the court trying to catch a moth. And I think he succeeded as well. I don't want to see any more moths after last night. Oh, and now Sanford serving at 1 2. Bill Rays and Brad Gilbert discussing what's going on here. Number eight for Sampras. Well, this is high quality stuff, isn't it? Some great serving from Sampras. Wonderful great returns from Agassi. Terrific volleys. Just takes the still Pete. He just takes the pace off that return, doesn't he, David? Just no, he just guided it, didn't he? He knew Agassi couldn't get that. Just guided it. Didn't have to do too much. Didn't have to be flamboyant. <laughs> this is just point for point, blow for blow. So the switch ends at three all in the first set tiebreaker. Could anyone in this stadium predict the winner of this match? Let alone predict the winner of this set. Gives you an idea of just how full Arthur Ashe Stadium is. 
See people standing in the aisles up there, in the entryways, waiting to come in at the changeover. But it's just three all in the first set tiebreaker. They may have to wait a while. That's good. Well, those spare seats are gone. Looking for a spare seat. And two in the bleachers. And pulled out. I guess he looks at the umpire. Four, three. Sampras. So Pete Sampras gets the mini break back, which means if he can now win the rest of his service points, he can win this tiebreaker, even if he loses a point off. Just a shade on lucky, sorry, Sam. Just a shade on lucky there because. I guess he just clipped the top of the net with that shot and it went out and that's really unlucky and that's the sort of thing that could make the difference between who wins this set. Now Sampras takes advantage of that small opening, 5-3. His coach Paul Anacone looking comfortable with his feet up. It's amazing how calm these coaches look. They've just been here so many times before. That's a big serve. And Pete Sampras now has three set points. 6 3. And Andre Agassi will have at least two service points. Try to get back in this tiebreaker. It's extraordinary. After 49 minutes, this set could be decided by a net cord. Agassi drove the ball, hit the top of the net, and it went out. Left. That's the difference. In. Sampras slipped a little bit. So Agassi saves one set Six point. Four. Right into Sampras, but Sampras tried to run round it onto the forehand. Six and made it a complete mess of sets. Sampras now gets his serve back. 6 5, and a chance for him to close out this first set on serve. 6 5 in the first set tiebreaker. Wonderful atmosphere. <laughs> well, Agassi, Agassi calls for his towel. And they'll change oh, hands. Sampras Six had three on. set points. Andre Agassi found a way to steal him back. And it's all even in the first set tiebreaker. Six points apiece. Well, I think he deserved all those three points. He served very positively. And he was two of those set points down. Sampras delivered such a huge serve. It was 118. Agassi just hammered it, absolutely hammered it. And finally deserves to be left yeah. again. And hey, we just don't know who's going to win this set. <laughs> well, this is our twists and turns. Now it's Agassi with that set point. He's like a barber, isn't he? And now Agassi will get to serve on this first set point. Agassi. It's so loud in here, even during the points, David. I mean, when Sampras went up to hit that overhead from the backcourt, so yeah, he couldn't even hit, it, hit, hit his racket, probably. And this is just Thank moving you. around the baseline, just waiting. Steve Ulrich, the umpire, calls for quiet, and he should be quiet. Agassi was down 6-3 in this tiebreaker. He's up 7-6 now. Very clever from Sampras. I don't know if you saw it. Sampras stood in on the baseline. He just caught Agassi's eye as he was about to serve. Perfectly legitimate. <laughs> and Agassi just overhit that ball, which just rolled over at 75 miles an hour. Perfectly legitimate. 
Agassi comes back with an ace Eight after seven. the double fall. Agassi. And Sampras now will be serving at 7 8 with Agassi having yet another set point. of truth for Sampras. Oh! There it is, Agassi. Agassi. Pumps his fist towards seven games his coach six. and his trainer. And Sam, that was absolutely thrilling. Andre Agassi takes the first set tiebreaker. 9-7. Was down three set points at 6-3. Wow. First point, second set. Agassi took the first set, 7 6. We've well, just noticed that this is such a big match that we spotted Barbara Streisand in the crowd, a former friend of Andre Agassi, good pals a few years ago. Probably still are good pals. All the Celebrities are here tonight in New York. Entertainers, media. Seen and be seen, eh? Yeah. That's why we're here. <laughs> Nobody's seeing us, though. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> now, Agassi jumps out in front, 30 love in his opening service game. Sampras has settled back down, taking the last two points. And David, as Sampras has gotten a little bit older, he, he wears his heart on his sleeve a little bit more. He's not as tough to figure out how he's feeling about something for a long time. Good or bad, he had the same expression on his face, now much more uh, demonstrative. Game, game, game. He's a charming fellow. Uh, we've seen him at press conferences. Absolutely charming, very relaxed. Sandra Agassi holds serve in the opening game of the second set. Well, the crowd is just gasping for breath after that first <laughs> set, and some of them can't take it. They've gone out to get a sandwich or a burger. The amount of movement in the stadium is quite extraordinary. It's all settled now. Oh. Well, they both won 50 points each. Sampras has a few streaks to try to keep alive that only this U.S. Open could do for him. He's won at least one Grand Slam for eight consecutive years. Also finished the top ten in the top ten every year since 1990. Those streaks in jeopardy unless he can win this U.S. Open. Black, black. Uh, well, no breaks of serve in the entire match. There's been four break chances. 
three for Santos, one for Agassi. Well, set decided by a tie break. Santos up 40-15. In this set, Andre Agassi will be serving from in front. It was reversed in the first set. Wow. Isn't that breathtaking? Up in this house. Breathtaking. His opening service game with the second set. Still no breaks of serve, as David Lowe said. It's one all. Well, this is just in the foothills of the second set, but it's a very steep climb, not just in this. They've got to climb a number of Everests to take the winner spot, which will only get them into the semi-finals, of course. This is like a final. It's not quite a deal. Rod Safin waiting in the semis. Pete Sampras has said he would love to play Safin again. But he may not get the chance. Andre Agassi up a set. Sampras going over and will switch rackets. with ace number six. 100 miles an hour. His fastest serve tonight has been 119. These guys are still talking. <laughs> They're not talking to do with tennis, where they're going to go and eat tonight. Oh. What show they're going to see on Broadway tomorrow. Oh, stocks do. Oh. Counting their money. <laughs> Second double fault for Andre Agassi. It's Pete Sampras' first point of this game, but Agassi way out in front. Second. Back in Arthur Ashe Stadium, I'm Sam Gore along with David Luddy. We are privileged to bring you Pete Sampras and Andre Agassi. And they are not disappointing. Agassi took the first set 9 7 in a tiebreaker. Sampras serving at 1 2. Well, Jennifer Capriati won earlier tonight, sitting in the stands with her brother. Well, they are interested in other people's times. Tell me, anybody who's anybody here <laughs> is at this match in New York. Thank 
of the night from Santos. As you would expect, nothing less. Maybe your favorite statistic. Both men have won 56 points. <laughs> Gives you an idea how close it is, even though Agassiz is set up. And two on up. Said it uh, just after Wimbledon that he'll play for another six or seven years. I can't really see that happening. I think uh, he just gets aggravated when people ask him when he's going to give it up, so he just keeps going longer and longer <laughs> in his answers. If he keeps winning a Grand Slam every year, which he still can do, I'm sure. uh, he's got three realistic chances out of four each year. The French is really beyond him. I think most people think that. And it'd be great if he proved his, proved everybody wrong, but. If he keeps winning a Grand Slam every year, he'll keep, he'll keep playing. If he goes two years without a Grand Slam, say all next year, then he might consider it. Oh, that's good. So Sampras will be extended in this game, 40-30. This is his last chance to win a Grand Slam this year. Roger Federer knocking him out in the round of 16 and five sets at Wimbledon, dethroning the king. Yeah, Quite something, we were watching that, it was quite breathtaking. Federer, of course, knocked out by Britain's Tim Henman. <laughs> Had to get that one in. Had to get that one in. <laughs> well, we got to salvage something. <laughs> oh, so Sampras holds serve, and it's 2 all here in the second set. Two games mm -hmm. in Well, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Yeah, Sam. It's the the one said the standard's gone down, but we almost relaxing here in the first part of the second set, simply because the, the first set was so wonderful, especially that tiebreaker. Well, we've been up here. This is our, our fifth match of the day, and uh, this is by far the the highest quality tennis we've seen. Not to take anything away from any of our previous winners today, but. It's just being honest. Two of the greatest in the game playing. Well, it wasn't a bad approach by Santos. It was deep. He couldn't get it any deeper. But the racket control that Nicholas has got from the baseline is just extraordinary. Look how well balanced he is as well. For Sampras this game. 30-15. Well, another point for Sampras this game. <laughs> what a joyful backhand that was. I must say so. That looks a terrific shot now. Well, he's got five forehand winners and now has five backhand winners in this match. That couldn't have been a tougher shot. If you're a gambling man. You just want to gather on a shot like that. Hit the tape. Rolled across it. It fell back on Sampras' side. And now Agassi with a chance to hold.
just missed, yeah. missed it. Agassi. And Andre Agassi holds by a hair. But Agassi stays out in front 3 2 in the second set. Pete Sampras finding himself down a set. Andre Agassi is out in front of this set, but we are on serve. Sampras will be serving at 2 3 in the second set. Drops in and bounces away. Everything with these two is precise. And that couldn't be more precise. He's just lobbed a man six foot one who is already quite well back behind the tee. Their games just bring out the best in each other. I bet you could send them out on a practice court somewhere and you'd have the same stuff. Well, it's not all the same pan. It's not all Sampras serve and volley and Agassi on the baseline. There's been a lot of variety. We've seen Agassi up at the net. We've seen Agassi volleying. And we've seen Sampras, apart from these huge deliveries being hammered down onto the courts, we've seen him produce some most wonderful ground strokes, especially that backhand side, which has produced a number of winners, four in fact. Sampras has 10 aces already. Chance to level this second set at 40 15. Fourth double fault. Serve. And you know, we're just beginning to slightly move a little bit forward on our chairs because we know the, <laughs> the second set just beginning to warm up again. Not that it's not boiling hot, but it's going to be absolutely scalding as the set heads towards its conclusion. Sampras can't catch up with that one. Few times before, but that was just a little off the target. Oh, 
full house here at Arthur Ashe Stadium. If you'd like to know more about this event, log on to that website. It's a good one. Game, 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 game. Alondra obviously holds it love. And he leads four three in the second set. So Sanford serving at 3-4. Agassi seen just one break point this whole match. There's the sky slam. Well, more of an exhibition shot, really, because it is a little extravagant, <laughs> well, let's be honest. Sampras is a big basketball fan. Oh, he's just putting it in the hoop there. You see, he's produced a great exhibition shot, but back to the bread and butter. Yeah. The meat of the whole thing, there's it in the stars, of course, from a great player. Agassi, last one back, another winner. And this is a crucial game. They're all crucial games now. Stasi sitting in a section with former champions over there. Just sensed at the end of the last game, Sampras's overall consistency slightly dipping. We'll soon find out whether it is dipping. Maybe it is. He missed three shots in Agassi's last service game. He's been beaten by a pass from Agassi, and then Mr. Avoni, and a very difficult one too. Agassi really delivering the return with interest. 1530. <laughs> oh, such a great goal from Santos. Yeah. Well, as many times as you come to the net, Santos, you know you're not going to hit every shot perfect. Second one. And he needed a big bomb of a serve, and it was the serve that did it, 121 miles an hour. And it's right down the centre, and I find it extraordinary that Axe even gets a racket to it. Should have whistled past him. Fans starting to get behind Sampras now. And it's four in the second set. Well, Sampras wasn't going to run over that quick. 15-30, that's a little bit of a problem, but he's come through with some good serving. And he's let Agassi get to that 30 point several times, but he's only let him see a break point once. Andre Agassi now serving at four all, deep in the second set. Interesting mixture from Santos. I thought he was being quite sensible. He sliced two just for change of pace, just to make Andre think a little bit. Then he decided to go for a big top spin, which was correct, but it was so short. Uh, of Andre's standard, just easily put it away. You know, Santos did get it back, but really it was a winner, as that one was. He looks extremely composed. He's Overall standard hasn't dropped at all. And ever since he bounced back from those three set points down in that tie break, he's looked extremely solid and impressive. And this couldn't have been an easier service game for him at the moment. He's produced two great forehands and a very good serve. 40 love. Chance to move to 5-4. to do that, you know, Fonsi yeah. Love, um, you think, well, I've got nothing to lose, I've lost this game, Let, let's have a go, and that's the result, a beautiful shot. Oh, 
double fought from Agassi. He still has a game point, but he's opened the door a little bit for Sampras. 40 30. And from 40 love. Sampras will have to hold serve to stay in set number two. Is, five up five four. Thank you. Ready for that. Well, a fantastic atmosphere as you can hear the umpire calling for the crowd. Oh, now there's a Mexican wave going. And this is not good, actually. I don't mind the Mexican wave, but it's at the wrong time, surely. Earlier really this week, fans have been doing this all week. Thank you. Earlier mm -hmm. really this week, finally said, you can do it on the next changeover. And the changeover is fine, but stop it when here's Sampras serving to save the set. This is so unfortunate. Only in New York. Only in the United States. And I love Americans. <laughs> They've just been called out. The man went up so late. Sampras, very fortunate. That ball was so close. 15 love. Sampras serving at 4 5. Oh, that's Ooh, nice. Sampras looks, we're both looking. But it's on the other side, so it's difficult for us to see. But. Oh, that was close. That was one. That was a most wonderful serve. Good side spin. He's number 11. Only 12 miles an hour. You asked me a question, Sam, towards the end of the first set. You said tie break. I'll ask you tie break. I think so. Nothing would indicate otherwise. Bit of a way to go there before that. Yeah. It's out. <laughs> oh, yeah, they love it. How bad do these two want to win? Great pick up, Sampras. Oh, it spun, didn't it? That's, I thought actually it went the wrong way. You can see why now. The ball literally spun away from him. And you saw Sampras give that glance back. Forty love. It's good. <laughs> and we got that one. <laughs> Two fisted, perfect control, top of the bounce, follow through, and then a little skip. I must remember that when I go back onto my hard courts. If you can get all that in your head, no time. problem. Just buy the video. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Surface holds, it's five all. Five games on here. Exactly an hour and a half played. Sanders looks up at the scoreboard. I don't know whether he looks at it in disbelief because in that first set, of course, if you've just joined us, he had three set points in the tiebreak at 6 3, before losing at 9 7. Start the point. They don't care. A lot of other players sit around and wait. Well, neither 
have complained. They've both got on with the match. It's quite refreshing, actually. Adam gets away from Sampras, and it's 15 all. This match is every so often we've said this. And we're gonna say it again. They're dead level on points, 76 all. There's hardly been a point between them. Five all here in the second set. I guess he took the first seven six. Sampras now serving at 5 6 to try to send the second set to a tiebreaker. No breaks of serve in the match. No break points in this set. Love you, love you. Double fault from Sampras to start this game. He creates a little hurdle for himself and spots Agassi a point. It gives Agassi just that little extra freedom to go for a shot or two. Is he trying or is he trying? Are they both trying? <laughs> They're giving it everything. As if their life depended on it. There's pride here, you know. It's not just the match, it's pride of performance. And there's urgency too, David. And there's also Grace and Tapps, who Sanders has got a right in the corner. How has he got a back? Who knows? Right in the corner. I can see Sama gets it back. Look at that little touch there. And then, oh, hardly anything. He just created that shot. It's this. a new shot, never, never been experienced before. It was, it was a, a non-shot. Amazing control. 
Empress now with a chance to send it into a tiebreaker at 40 30. 5 6 second set. Double fault. Second of the game. He started the game with a double fault and now sends it to Deuce with one. Obviously, again, with two points with two sets to long lead. But it's a big if because it's on Sampras's serve. Sampras def desperately wants a big ser serve here. Yeah, he's got it. That's what's so good about him. As you were saying, Sam, that's a big serve. 120, no problem. Advantage Sampras. arrived in Queens. <laughs> Deuce. Punch time, big serve. Let's see if he can get one in on this other side of the court. <laughs> exactly 100 minutes played. Sampras survives the double faults. Can he survive a tiebreaker? He lost the first 9-7 after being up 6-3. I guess he will start the tiebreaker soon. <laughs> How do you produce a winner in that game? Sliced and still produces the winner. The accuracy is extraordinary. Sampras won't believe he has the second in the tiebreaker. And he started off really well. Great pass, sliced winner, highly unusual. And then that's serving, crunching for him. Now Sampras playing this one perfectly so far. Just a one mini break. Obviously, we now serve at 0 3. Remember, first to seven, win by two. Sampras pacing like a cat behind the baseline. Oh. Obviously, right on top of the ball. But Sampras is up a mini break in this time breaker. Well, up to this point, I'm really impressed with Agassiz's composure. 
whole mind is on this man. Sampras took the opening point on Agassi's serve to get this mini break. Agassi just asking the umpire for a bit of quiet, I think. Change ends. Last set, it was 3 0. This set, Sampras is out in front, 4 2 at the changeover in the second set tiebreaker. Mike Bridget having a good time. <laughs> The big fist. Yeah. Now surely this time Sam is going to it. Surely yeah. there again. But this time he's got another point to work with. He was up 6-3 in the last tiebreaker. Thank you. This time he's up 6-2. But obviously serving. is back in this match. It's going to be Sampras to serve the start of this third set. Seat, seat, seat. Seat. Breathtaking, isn't it, Sam? Oh, We're just wow. watching with our mouths wide open. Unbelievable. Well, I don't know if it's unbelievable because we were expecting this. I mean, uh, my heart's racing, though, and it's just one set all. <laughs> We're not even halfway. No. <laughs> I mean, we, we had hoped for this. Ah. Pete Sampras on cruise control in this opening set or this opening game of the third set. Well, he's lifted, isn't he? I mean, Sampras pumped up, animated. Don't see that very often, and all his confidence has flown back. He was so disappointed after that first set setback, having those three set points. But he's so determined in that set right. that he was going to win that tiebreaker. It was the last thing he ever did. I, I have not seen him this determined in quite some time. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
so I was just going to say, using your word, you said first game. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Champers holds easily. One love. He'll be serving from in front in this set, which of course is an advantage. Served from in front, however, in the first set and lost it. And Agassi served from in front in the second and lost that one. So it hasn't been an advantage in this match. I wonder how Andre Agassi is going to react to that. His level of play has been high all the way through. He hasn't dipped. He hasn't dipped at all. And he'll just, I think, just take that and think, well, I'm doing everything right. There's been no breaks of serve in the match. There were no service break points in the last set. And we might just get another three tiebreakers. And then it comes down to a little bit of a lottery and who's mentally stronger. He's got a little bit of luck. And that cord carries that out. Sampras has been in the net 75 times and 72% of those points. I can see with ace number seven for him. In a few areas he trails Sampras. Sampras has 13 for the match. If you had a graph, you start at the bottom of the graph and slowly builds up to a peak. That was the end of the first set, got to a peak, and it slowly comes down. Well, actually, comes down quite quickly. Then the second set starts and it builds up again, then comes up. And exactly the same thing is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this point, the last set, I remember what you said. You said we were in the foothills of this set. Is that the foothills? Well, in this match, you've probably got to climb five Everest because you think <laughs> this is going to be a five setter. If it does become a five-setter, it will be, become a classic. There's no question about it, if it's close in the fifth. Certainly if it's a tie-break fifth set. And then you'd be able to say, Sam, I was there at the time. <laughs> Where were you at the time when Sampras played Agassi in 2001? It was with David Buddy. <laughs> wow. Well, it is an honor to be here. You're in this stadium anywhere. Handles the net cord that time. Very business like, I can see. Very business like. He's completely into this match. San has wavered a few times, but the spirit has been good. You know, it's like it's like boxers over a, a big contest. They time their run, don't they? They time when to strike. Sometimes it's good to strike early in a set. It just gives you that psychological advantage. If you can just produce two or three good winners off maybe some returns of serve if you're given the opportunity, then you just hang on to your serve at the end of the Let's set. Down. But to maintain this performance throughout the match, non-stop, for hours upon hour. So difficult. Well, yeah, how did Agassi get the ball back? And what a wonderful volley with underspin from Sampras. We've seen a few of those tonight from Sampras. Just shots that just seem impossible to hit. What he does with the racket in that part of the court. It's all because he's so beautifully balanced. He is a beautifully balanced player, as Agassi is. That's why they're such good players. 
Sampras's service motion, if you look at the ATP new logo, they pattern their logo after his service motion. Did they cut him up for as well? <laughs> and that is his forehand. Any, any shot he has is, is exquisite. And 30 all, so this is a real opportunity for Andre Agassi the way this match has gone. Agassi seen just one break point. That was in the first set. He's been to this stage in several games. This is where Sampras usually stopped it. Not this time. And now Andre Agassi will have the first break point in two sets. That's what I'm saying, Sam. Sometimes you can start off pretty relaxed, hold the serve. Don't do too much in your opponent's serve because it's difficult to raise the level. Agassi, if he just brings off one or two, he's built off one, he's got to bring off another. Sensational shot. So he just head his opponent. And now he's got a, a, an opportunity. The same for second serve. Best in the game. And it was short, but it had a lot of top spin and obviously couldn't control it. Yes. And at the end of the day, a nice easy volley. And you could feel the collective breath of people <gasps> sucking in. And then they exhaled <laughs> themselves and put the volley in there. Right. <laughs> Mini crisis, the sense avoided. Oh. And it's gone well out. Now Sampras has the advantage. Stay up in this third set. Half a chance that for Agassi. He did bring off earlier in the last set a most magnificent topspin lob. And it landed well in the line with Sampras backpedaling furiously, but that one was nowhere near. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as hit that ball, Almost before I was excited to return it, Sampras was super yeah, slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just knew he was a winner. 2 1, Sampras leads. We're on serve in the third set. Hey, you never know. This could be the very, very last time they play. Could be. That's against right. each other. You mentioned that sense of urgency in that last set. Sampras trailing. Agassi serving at 1 2 in the third set. One set all. Maintain that in any match of distance, there are one or two occasions, maybe three, however good the players are, that their form will dip. And it's in those crises that the boy becometh the man. And Sanders had a oh, mini crisis or two, and he's come through. Axie's still to face a crisis. You feel a crisis must happen for him somewhere where he's got to fight his way out of it. wins not only is it physically draining but it was mentally mentally tiring and it takes a long time to recover for once I'm pleased that there's going to be what two clear days for them right. to recover and semi-finals taking place Saturday afternoon which makes it tougher on the two remaining matches in the quarterfinals because they'll have one day less to recover They'll have to play, what, three matches in four days? Which is a very hard. Sampras stays in this game. Obviously now serving at 30 30 We mentioned the other quarterfinals. We might as well tell you tomorrow, Gustavo Quirton and Yevgeny Kafelnikov play in the first quarterfinal. And then tomorrow night, Leighton Hewitt, the fourth seed, will take on Andy Roddick. So Pete Sampras with an opportunity. Opportunity 
closed for the moment. And we're obviously with his ninth base. 120 miles an hour. That's his fastest serve of the night. Sam, we've seen Sampras do that when it's got to juice. He's pulled out that massive serve. And I guess he's just done the same. Amazing. Big serve. Great shot to the corner. But Sampras wins the point. Yes. Well, here maybe is an Agassi mini crisis. Sampras has had a couple of them. Again, they raise their game. This is extraordinary. Their mental powers are beyond belief. It was 117 miles an hour, so just three miles an hour under the previous ace. And you see now with a chance to hold and level this set at two all. of tennis two all in the third set the first two sets have been decided by tiebreakers no breaks of serve in this match so far and it's what two hours and three minutes or so quarter to 11 here in New York at night it's like noon to me Swing at it. When Sampras hit that volley, I thought it was uh, going to be an easy put away, but the ball was just so close to the net. Sampras goes up 30 love. Four minutes old. So Andre Agassi now serving to stay on serve here in this third set. 2 3. Both men have won a set by the same score 7 6. making a statement in this game if we thought he was having a little bit of a crisis 
He's come out strong. 40 love. <laughs> Holds it live with ace number 11. He's catching up with Sampras in that department. It's three all in the third set. I think we've just come out of the foot here. This game. Just, we just see that summit of the end of this set. It's a bit distant, but it's there. <laughs> Waiting to receive these two Indeed. again for a third time. <laughs> Who's to say it won't go to yet another tie break? So. In some ways, Sam, you just hope one doesn't collapse in a heap and right. it ends up like 6 2, 6 1. Because it would be, in a sense, undignified for one of these great players to, for that to happen. You want it to go to the wire, you want it to go close. And the way it's going, that's the way it should, should go. Earlier in this tournament, of course, two players not equal in stature, but Leighton Hewitt and James Blake were in a dog fight. Blake was up trying to, was up two sets to one, and just hit the wall. Got sick on court. During the day, wasn't it? Didn't see it coming. He was used to long matches there, and it was during the day, yeah. Right. All right. And the point being, he just had no idea he was even feeling that. And then all of a sudden, on a changeover, boom, that was it. He managed to finish the match, but was never the same player. But these two are two wily, in brackets, old, close the brackets campaigners. These are big bullets here. Big bullets, big serves, big volleys, big returns. Mm -hmm. This drama continues to unfold. Plenty of scenes of though left in this play. He makes that look so easy. It is so difficult. Though. It is. It is just scooping it off the floor. <laughs> These returns are fantastic returns. <laughs> Such a pity that was a fall. <laughs> just for the supremacy of that shot. Legacy says, play it. That was a beautiful shot, and it doesn't count. Second serve, 40-15, three all, third set. Again, yeah. And Sampras with a 120-mile-an-hour second Sampras serve. Four holds, it's 4-3 in the third set. Andre Agassi now serving at 3-4. Just in case Kleinsters and Dementeva are watching, <laughs> uh, I think they're wonderful players. It's just a matter of this player here is out of his room, as is Sampras, who stood in there and just clobbered it from the top part of the bounce. Yeah, you see the two-hander is able to do that pretty successfully, but a one-handed backhand to control that return like that is, that's a lot of strength. That's become quite a, a weapon. It's always been good, but it seems to be exceptionally good now. And there's the reply. As soon as they lose a point, they drag it down. Something even better. Sometimes do the opposite of what they normally do. <laughs> We've just seen with success. With success, Agassi 
their serve and volley. Sam is some wonderful shot from the baseline, especially that exquisite backhand. Oh, yeah, four yeah. magnificent yeah. points from Agassi. All right, one of the serves is questionable, but the other serve is terrific. But serve and volley is yeah, yeah. like He's just shot up a shot up a gear into some stratosphere of tennis. And I just see with a look of how dare you question my serve. He did get annoyed. He did, he did get annoyed. Not, not out of control annoyed, but he just raised his adrenaline level and he wanted to tell his tennis foe there across the other side of the net, I'm still here and I'm going to be in charge. Need of the battle. Four all. <laughs> This crowd hasn't come out on one player or the other, really, have they? That's what I mentioned earlier, but this rivalry being so unique as opposed to a Connors McEnroe American rivalry. They're both hard to pull against. They used to scream for us sometimes. Though. Of course, in the latter stages of the match, we may see some favoritism. Sure. Especially if one of them starts falling behind. Let's take level now. <laughs> well, I thought he was going to win another one of those that he couldn't get to because it was so close to the net. Right here. Fifty yeah. Look where he is to put this one away. <laughs> A couple of inches from the net, his feet. Five miles an hour, ace number 15. To get to 30 15. Four all, third set. Coming up to 11 o'clock at night here in New York. And this match still a long way to go. It's another scissor. And I don't think anybody in your minds think they would sleep in here tonight. That could be guaranteed more tennis from these two. But 30 all now in this game. Magnus has been here before. It's out. Has he gone for he was going for both the shots. The forehand was like a Pull it out of the gun. That backhand, how he picked it up. Couldn't quite control it. But that flew really swiftly as well. And he remains calm. He feels his day will come, you know. He feels somewhere there's going to be two or three shots he's going to put together. And with the help of Sampras, this could be it here. It's 4 all, isn't it? Third set. Deuce. You climb the foothills. <laughs> We're closing in on that peak. <laughs> superlative after superlative. I have something to break the tension here. I believe Agassi really does believe his time is going to come here. <laughs> it just is so determined. <laughs> so so <laughs> In that's, the first, that's the first sign of minor, minor disappointment. He really yes. said so <laughs> On the line. I think he wanted to question that. Ace number 16 in the bus. A 5-4 lead. It's worth saying no breaks of serve in this match. See the difference in the 
winners and unforced errors. Still just 10 unforced errors for Andre Agassi through almost three sets. But we're all even. Memphis and Agassi on serve. In the third set, Agassi serving from behind the 4 5. Oh, wonderfully right footed. He fainted a goal to Samson's right. That was absolutely a dream. Santos looks up again at the school, would it? To confirm the score almost in his mind. <laughs> Maybe they don't hear the umpire calling. Is this it? Maybe? Is this the crunch of the third set? Or do we march on? <laughs> oh, I guess he stays ahead of him. Oh, uh, you know, that was actually one for Santos is determined to come in. Force the pressure. Mm -hmm. Agassi held him here. Great pick up from Sampras. Wonderful passing shot. But Sampras made the play there. He put enormous pressure on Agassi. Maybe Agassi never wanted to back away from a target. This is a new shot, David. I think this is something yeah. he's been practicing. I, I haven't seen him pull this one out. I've seen him yeah. do a few of those strip shots, but he's produced that. But it, the, the close, it's almost like they go sideways instead of directly over the net. Almost like they're angling across the yeah. net. Well, it was from dead on. I mean, he's not. The net was low on that part. It, it's very difficult to get over the top. And okay. here we have a situation, 30 all. And Sampras is within two points of a two sets to lead. Now, will Sampras do exactly what he did before? There's stuff. There she is. Will Sampras do what he did before and come in? Almost. <laughs> Would you believe it? Well reversal. <laughs> and Steffi, watching from the sidelines there. Ford will be rather pleased with that. Must be beside herself. Couldn't imagine being married or close to one of these guys, see? <laughs> she, she's seen, she's on TV, and she's moved. <laughs> Sample stays alive in this game. Legacy has to hold to stay in this third set. It's Deuce, a 4 5, a set of peace. Absolutely crucial points coming up here. Could determine the match. Could determine this set for sure. Seven percent. And pass. My goodness. <laughs> How do they do it? Cyprus correctly coming into that target. Oh, he's passing comfortably, and the ball just inside the line. Oh, the frustration of Cyprus. Now a point to go to five all for Andre Agassi. There it is. What a wonderful placement. The serve is only 85 miles an hour. That really put Sampras out. He thought it was going to be a quicker ball. Actually made sure the first one went in. And then he came in himself. That is what's so wonderful about this man. So Agassi pulling out a... A new racket, maybe for a little extra pop as we get to five all in the third set. It's your turn to ask me the question, I think, uh, Sam. About the tiebreaker? No. What do you think? Could be. <laughs> I don't go out on a limb there again. Could be. <laughs> Sam for serving with new balls, so obviously changing rackets. A lot of times they change rackets when they 
think that they may be in danger of breaking a string. They certainly don't want a string to break at such a crucial point in a match, so they'll switch the rack. That's not the best lob that Angus has ever produced. Angus with all these attempts, drop shot, volleys. I tell you, he could have looked a complete full on that shot. Brilliant when he makes it. Ridiculous when he misses. Hush, right around the stadium now. Crucial moments in this third set. We're right there at the crunch end. It's one set all and five all. Sampras' wife, Bridget, not quite as relaxed anymore. <laughs> Sampras now has been to the net 100 times. Knocked him off his feet. Well, they haven't got a speed gun. That drives. I'd love to know how fast this shot was. This one here. He gave it absolute everything. Hey. Now Sampras. 40-15, and the move to 6-5. They are standing just behind some of the seats here. The little corridors standing to watch this dramatic, dramatic match with a find. Sampras holds on the legacy. We'll have to hold to send it to yet another tiebreaker. Six games to five. Andre Agassi. Looks like he's got some new balls there. He's serving five six. Seven for the crowd of even quieting down. Sneaks in his 13th base. Tenth moment. Sampras again looking at the score. Steffi trying to move out of the way of the cameras, but they'll find her anywhere she is. Expecting in mid December. Didn't complain. All these points now unbelievably vital. Sampras attempt to come in. He does, but he's passed. The return of Sampras wasn't good enough, wasn't deep enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To normal men, it would be, but he's playing Andre Agassi. Sampras supplying Agassi a target. Forget the crowd screaming and the TV cameras on them. Mm -hmm. 
This is a big moment of truth for both men. They're both at the peak of their powers, especially Santos on that huge serve. One zero. Santos yeah. starts out the tiebreaker. One zero. will serve at 2-1. First to seven, win by two. This is really pressure. That double four is really costly, of course, on tiebreak because it really does count. Every point's like a game in a tiebreaker. Oh, yeah, Santos on the overhead. So Santos loses the mini break, but we are on the third in this third set tiebreaker. Now Andre Agassi will be serving at 2-3. Third successive tiebreaker. Obviously, the first, of course, and then seven. And then save three set points. Demolished in the second. Seven two. That's long. Four two. Mm -hmm. Like they did. In the second set tiebreaker, they change ends with Sampras leading four two. Well, Sampras was clever. It was a sliced backhand. Steady, slow, with backspin, which went to the angle, and it really forced Agassi to go down the line. The most difficult of shots. And instead of Agassi really going for it, a nice, steady shot. And now he's just got the edge. Only just got the edge. Sampras can close out the third set five on his serve. Sampras. He'll have two service points, and he's up 5 2. Four set points for Pete Sampras. Yeah, it was totally and utterly perfect. 125 miles an hour, race number 17, but more importantly, Sampras gets to set point. 6-2. You always fancy the big serve and volley up in the tie break. There it is, Sampras! Two sets to one. Sampras, seven games to six. He's actually the serve first, that gives Agassi that little minor advantage. Sampras will always have to catch up. And for Agassi, he's got to really go all out now. He did in one game, pretty early on in this third set that's just gone by, and he went that close, that close to breaking it. I think that was just one possible break point. That's right. I think he's just got to go for it, hit it really hard, and hopefully he can pull off two, three back-to-back -back winners. As for Sampras, that serve is the key. 
as it always has been throughout his career. First point, fourth set. Legacy double faults. Again, you may or may not have noticed that was a forced double fault. Sampras has increased the pressure on Agassi's second serve by attacking it. And on that second serve there, he stepped in. The baseline almost ran up to the T-junction, putting Agassi off. He's done it a couple of times before. And he's pulled off a screen and win again. He's on a roll. He's full of confidence. Yeah, Agassi obviously worked that after was, losing that tiebreaker. That was the 60th winner of this match from Pete Sampras. Seeing a bit of a hole, up 30. <laughs> now, obviously, prevents the triple break point. 15 to nine. So, What Sampras is doing is that even though he got past there, he's Posing the question in Agassi's mind, I'm coming in. I'm coming in to attack you. Pass me if you dare. And all Sampras has to do is win one or two of those points, and he might even get the break. He certainly succeeded in the tiebreaker by doing that. in this match and Agassi served is suffering in the last few games to serve him quite slowly round about the 80 90 mark now even though that serve missed we'll have a quick check to see what the speed was well that was a bit quicker it was 112 second serve much slower Agassi has the answer but still a great chance for Sampras 84 in the second Sampras is going to come in now this may be the key to the match. He's attacking that second serve much more now in the last set, and certainly in this one. A precious break point. One more for Sampras. Too good. That is three clear winners for Agassi. Two when Sampras approached the net. Not one break of serve in the whole match testimony to the quality of these players and their serves. And now Agassi picking it up. Rejuvenated. His 14th ace. I'll tell you this, Sam, I would have missed this match for all the tea in China. <laughs> no way. And you know how much I love tea. <laughs> Again, it's another winner. Agassi. Four winners. An ace, and he jumps off the court. Well, jumps towards his chair, and his spirits are uplifted. He knows he's still in this match. Agassi holds in the opening game of the fourth set. So around they go. Both of them with their towels draped over their shoulders. <laughs> Looks like someone's going to give them a shave. <laughs> I think years ago when Agassi won this title way back in what was it 94 didn't he have long hair then? Yeah. golden mm, locks that's the right. golden boy he all beat, gone uh, now he beat Michael Steak in the final in straight sets and Steak came over and picked him up off the court Smooth as anything, that, that serve. Total precision. Yes, it 
trifle fortunate it dropped into the court. The net is strung very tightly and usually it bounces up and away. Wonderful serving. Ace number 20. To get 20 aces against Agassi is quite something. Because he gets back a lot that others wouldn't. You can add another 10 if you like. And there it is. Oh, Pete Sampras holds his, in his opening service game of this fourth set. And it's one all. One game. One game. Back to business for Agassi. Is Sampras going to attack that second serve? This could be that vulnerable point in Agassi's game that Sampras will take advantage of. It's definitely, this, this is a key here. This is a major key to the match. Sampras is now confident to really attack that serve, the second serve, which came over at 86. Anything under 95, 98, 100 is going to attack, and he's serving slowly on that second serve. And it's long. It's rocked out to see a bit. And now again, Sampras. With an opening, he had two break points in the last Agassi service game, could not convert, and now gets to love 30. Agassi knows he's got to get his first serve in. And that's the reason why he's... Santos can't hammer it the way he's going to hammer the second serve. And Agassi served 64% of his first serves in. Pretty good, Sam for 63%. Two wonderful shots from Agassi. Agassi having to play from behind, but very successful in these last two games, coming up with huge so shots once he gets behind. And he usually puts in an ace or two. 30 all. Sampras in disbelief. Sampras is in control of this match at the moment. The last thing he wants to do is to get caught up in controversy. All right, he's disappointed. It's been called. He should just get on with it. He doesn't want to be affected. He's not usually affected by these things. This match is wafer thin. But he is in control at the moment. Maybe some of these uh, other players out there that you know are watching this match can learn something from these champions, the way they react to those situations. Yeah. Agassi got out of that again. He got the first serves in. You see, once he's got that second serve, Agassi needs to be to know, will this go to a fifth set? Can Agassi battle back? He's battling hard. He's concentrated wonderfully well. Almost unaware of what's going on outside this court. Oh. Sampras. Well, he's looked around quite a bit. Disappointed losing that first set, but has gathered himself well to win the next two tie breaks. And now Sampras opens this fourth game of the fourth set with a double fault. Sampras serving at 1-2 on serve. And Agassi like a cat on a hot tin roof, bouncing up and down behind the baseline. Oh. Oh. Well, now Andre Agassi with an opening. And it has been quite some time since he put pressure on the old Sampras serve. 
I don't mean old sample serve, it's just as <laughs> polished and as new as it was, well, a few years ago. I know what you mean. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm trying to keep calm, Sam. It's such a <laughs> great match. serve that same sideline that Sampras was upset about earlier when Agassi was serving. He's focused. Look at those eyes. Oh, he's trying. He's trying. Sampras gets on the board. 15-30. This is where Agassi really hopes that Sampras will allow him to put in two big back-to-back -back shots. I think he will. 30 all. Ace number 21. Pete says no. You're quite right. If you've got no chance with a serve like that, you've got no chance. But he maybe just wants Pete to miss one, maybe, on this first serve. Now he might have a chance. Now he might have a swing. And if he just can connect here, he'll have a break point. But he connected, couldn't control it. 111 miles an hour, second serve. Compare that to Agassi's 85 86, there's the difference. Snappers with six more aces as well. Agassi does not want to go to a tie break. He has to break Sampras somehow. Neither have lost their serve in the match. That's the screen he wanted the previous point. Sampras a little slow getting in. Agassi met him with the ball at the service line. That is why Andre Agassi is the best return returner of the ball in the business. That was 118 miles an hour serve, and he drilled it back. It drops in, and Pete Sampras now with a chance to hold serve. <laughs> Slices it. It's too long. A great return from Agassi, but a great, great volley from the Supreme Volley. So we stay on serve. Have not deviated from this path in the entire match. Well, Sampras has struggled a bit on his two previous service games in this set, but he's come through well. He's been love 30 down both times because Sampras attacks this second serve, which will roll over. Well, it has done, around about 85, 86. And again, he really puts in a good return of serve, which I guess he could hardly do anything with. And I guess he has to get this first serve in. That's what happens, he wins the point. It's still serving 64%. I mean, I think you'd take that. It's pretty good. He would, but the second serve is much weaker. He's only won 51% of his second serve points. To back up your point there, David. The interesting thing would be, Sam, to check just the last set. And it's probably difficult. The last set on the start of this one, what the percentage would be of how many 
points. Haggis has won on that second serve because Sanford is now coming in, which he didn't do before in the second. And now 40-15 for Andre Agassi. 77 miles an hour, the first serve. Agassi knows he cannot put in that second serve. He made absolutely sure he had terrific topspin and side spin that first serve. There's a battle of wits going out. They're not just bashing the ball around. Beautiful as it may be, they're thinking away and working out what to do. Sampras gets a hold of the second serve. Agassi desperately trying to get to 3-2. I think you're right, desperately trying to get to 3-2. He's struggling all the time now on his serve. He's slowly being squeezed. And he does it, and he skips to the chair. He still survives, and I think that is the word. He's surviving. Sampra serving it. 2-3. So now this is, what, the third time they met in the US Open. 1990, was it? Sampras won in straight sets. 1995, Sampras in four. And now 2001. In both of those years, Pete Sampras won the title. Could happen again. Just a minute short of three hours. And this match still in the balance. He's in the groove. Pistol Pete is in the groove. This is one of those matches that employers will wish never happened, because a lot of employees will show up at work tomorrow dead tired, unable to perform, the, perform their job duties, because they stayed up to watch it. They'll be saying, oh, I've got to go to the dentist, or I'm not well today. <laughs> Sleep in. Talking of the dentist, Sampras is drilling his serve in there. Are we talking of the dentist? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> 40 love, a chance to get to three all in the fourth set for Pete Sampras. Agassi would have had a shot to get it back. He gave up on it. Sampras really didn't easy. do that much with it, but it's three all. Agassi comes to the chair. I'll just have a little look while you're looking at Pete. And he's slightly blocked by the umpire chair. He's just taking out another racket. And uh, there you are. Have we got the best director and the best camera crew? No what. question about it. For them to be able to follow you, David, <laughs> it's just absolutely amazing. They should be winning Emmys for this. Only the best <laughs> for you sitting at home and whatever the time is, wherever you are, this is the most uh, wonderful match. I'm sure you're enjoying it. Sam and I are enormously. We all, fourth set, 15 love as a result. Of that ace from Andre Agassi. This is Sam Gore and David Luddy at the 2001 U.S. Open, and this is just the quarterfinals. Well, Pete's not happy with that. Agassi is already marching back to grab the ball. Well, now Sampras knows how people feel when he hits his serve out wide. <laughs> so he just gets the edge of that line. Just caught the line. That's out. This is a good service game for Agassi. If he can just win this service game really quickly, that's a great load off his mind. He can get to the sharp end on the end of San Francisco's serve and have another go. Oh, that's a wonderful serve. So Agassi sprints to the hold, holds it live, and he leads 4 3 in the fourth set. Sampras to serve. Sampras serving at 3-4. 
in the fourth set. This is a real sharp end of the game here, of this set. The target was there. He's got it. The first volley of Sampras wasn't decisive enough. It wasn't decisive, and there, Angus, he picks his slot, puts a lot of top spin on to make sure it did go over the net. And he's just ahead, he's putting his nose in front. Remarkable gets from Agassi. And how about that serve from Sampras? Wonderful. On the sideline of that service line. And then that wonderful smash. He's barely in. It was 108 miles an hour, but so well placed on the edge of that line. 15 all. I guess a yeah. little chance here. Anything that Sandra's can offer him. A little crumb. Second serve. Just what the doctor ordered. So Agassi again noses ahead in this game. 15 30 as a result of this. That was a wonderful shot. Back to the. Now, Savage usually delivers enormous serving power when in trouble. But Agassi has another chance. He's got to put back to back big winners. He's got one. Oh, Sampras. So well placed at bottom. Just out of Agassi's control. Look at that movement. The bending of the knees. His chin is almost down to his kneecaps. And he maintains that balance and the racket control. 30 all. Just in that. Only just. Pushes it out. And now Andre Agassi has a break point. 30 40. It's just his third great chance of the entire match. The house is going to come <laughs> down here. If Agassi pulls yeah. this point off, Stiff. the first break of the whole match, mm -hmm. I tell you, this place will go nuts. <laughs> Not so fast. And he pulls out the ace. This mm -hmm. is extraordinary. 116 mile an hour ace out wide. Number 21 for Pete Sampras, and still no breaks of serve in the match. How does he do it? How do they both do it? I don't know, but I'm glad they do. Agassi was within the point of taking a 5 3 lead with his serve to come. And Sampras bombs down a serve that was so well angled with power. And you saw that one with that camera shot. Took it down the middle, and we're even at four in this fourth set. And Mrs. S approves. <laughs> It's crunch time, isn't it? These guys have been paddling each other since before they were 12 years old. Now Agassi 31, Sanford's 30. Still going strong. <laughs> Sanford's with the wheels. The house is going to fall down. They're cheering everything now. It's coming to a climax here in this fourth set. And the control of the wrist. I think even Sampras was surprised how good he was. Now it's the second serve. I'm sure Agassi's going to attack it. 
He's stepping him right in. Clean winner. This is the difference between the two. And Brad Gilbert, that body language says it all. Love 30. Andre's got to get the first serve in. He knows it. The crowd know it. The crowd want him to. The crowd want him to win the set. They want a fifth set here. And again, Agassi changes the tactics. When he's down, he's been coming in, trying to put the pressure on Sampras. The tempo is up. The adrenaline is flowing. Not just those two down there, all 23,000 of us watching this match. 15.30, 4 on. And we're into that second serve again. Sampras already on the baseline. He's going to step in, guaranteed. Here he comes. And he's missed it. Too big of a swing. And I guess he levels the game at 30 all. <laughs> I have to tell you, both of us are standing. <laughs> so can't up sit and down. down, up and down. Great point for Pete Sampras. This is number six in the entire match for Sampras. And it's a virtual match point, isn't it? With Sampras' serve to follow, this could be match point. This could be the closing part, not of this set, but of this match. That. <laughs> the crowd wanted that. Even, isn't it lovely, Bridget? Yes. Applauding this yes. wonderful match. It's becoming a wonderful match now. It's developing quickly. Oh. So Agassi fights off a break point. Still no breaks of serve, but now Deuce. He's missed that first of He did go for it, 130. Now the next one will be about 85. Sampras will step in. Two body blows from Sampras and he misses with the drop. <laughs> She's thrilled. Great smiling. And I've got to applaud Sampras' skill there. Endeavour and bravery to produce a drop shot like that. Sampras so going with a racket bag. Agassi calls for the towel. Everyone's chewing their nails. That's uh, Charlie Gibson, who's a popular morning show host here in the United States for one of the American networks. And there's the significant other of Andre Agassi. And the house is coming down. You can hear from our sound effects there right on court side. Advantage Andre. Agassi survives. <laughs> He stays in front, 5-4 in the fourth set. Sampras will be serving to stay in this fourth set. And who knows how Agassi would respond in this tiebreaker with his back against the wall. That's, to me, where he's played the best tonight when he's been down. Well, it's pretty nippy out there. The sweaters are on and the jackets are on. Sampras goes on his merry way. Sampras trying to level this fourth set at five all, and it's the first point. Sampras, 10th of the match, goes for so much on that second serve because of the returning ability from Agassi. Occasionally he'll throw one in there. Wow. 
what a riposte to his own double fault. How many times both of them have done it when they've made mistakes or done double faults, they've replied with their own huge serves. 40 aces between them. I tell you, that centre surface line judge half moved. <laughs> you know which way to go. <laughs> Did very well. Oh, it's in. Palms down. And now Sampras. 40 15. Point away from going to 5 all in this fourth set. Well, a few have, but it's still very, very full, and many people are still standing. That shows you how full it is. They're still standing behind some of the seats in the little corridors that are just below the beaches. Showing some frustration. Sampras watching Agassi. It's the sharp, sharp end now, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we're back to the second serve again. Look where Sampras is, he's closing in. Oh, he's. <laughs> Missed opportunity in his mind. Steffi absolutely expressionless. <laughs> She's been in this situation a few times. Uh, how many grass times has she won? 22, was it? More than these two combined. That's for sure. 5 or 30-15. Got to get this first service in, you know. Here comes Pete again. One of them's going to come off somewhere. He's pulled off a couple of big backhand winners. Oh, he lost it. Well, that's uh, kind of surprising. In fact, he's made three errors in this game, which haven't really been forced. Missed the first serve completely. Just got the underside of his racket. Tried to attack another serve. And there's a strange mistake. Now 6-5. So Sampras will be serving to go into yet another tiebreaker. This match has had it all. And now Pete Sampras, a chance to send it into a fourth set tiebreaker as we go into Thursday morning in New York. Uh, couldn't be more perfect for Santos then. And you know Santos would love an easy hold here.
Santos keeps coming up with the big shots, but the body language, Santos looking a little, a little slower than Agassi. Agassi with a little bit more of a fresher look. A lot of time of serve. Which was 123 miles an hour. Dipping, dipping, dipping as Sampras approached the net. Sometimes it's difficult to see when you're watching telly, but there was top spin on that return, and my word, Sampras did well just to put it where he did. This is what he wanted. Agassi now two points from the set. Sampras two points from the fourth set tiebreaker. Sampras really got to get his first serve in now. Agassi, well, he's got to swing, he's got to make Sampras play the ball, he's got to make sure that the return dips at Sampras's feet. And then hope for the best. Oh, my word, that is going back pretty quickly. Um, could Pete Sampras be tiring? Well, you said he was. <laughs> You'll be answering my question. Can I, can I actually ask a question? Was that a second serve? Yes, it was. At 118 miles an hour. 118 mile an hour, ace 23rd of the match. At 5, 6, and 30 all, <laughs> he did a second serve at 118. After uh, we were just talking about him being tired. He did it. It's gone. It's yeah. on the line. It has gone in. So we are going to a fourth consecutive tiebreaker. There have been no breaks of serve in this classic match. A standing ovation for both players. They are standing, they are clapping, they are standing to a, a person. They are cheering, and they deserve every drop of applause. Both move, as you can see, to the back of the court. But this is the most magnificent sight, magnificent sound. And how would you like to be those two guys? Gosh, the focus that they need right now. Everybody in here, 22,000 people giving you a standing ovation. The match isn't over yet. No. Agassi to serve, first point of the fourth set tiebreaker. Oh, Agassi comes into the net. Would you believe? Do you know, Sam, you mentioned just a few minutes ago, maybe Agassi looks a bit fresher. He's very fit. And Sampras may be looking a little bit weary. Well, this is the longest Pete Sampras has gone in quite a while. It's just those little things now. Just those little things that will make the difference one way or the other. Love one, Sampras. And there's still that serve, and I mean that serve. And as long as he has it, he's okay. Gets the mini break. Well, remember the first set, he was 6 3 down and struggled. Came back and won it. Got walloped 7 2 in the, third, in, the, in the second and the third. Seven points to two. This is the first time, really, Sam, that he's had a, a minor advantage. So early on in a tie break, in this tie break. In fact, in all four tie breaks.
It was there, it was waiting, it was slow, it was hanging there for an hour. And now Agassi with the upper hand, up 3-1 in this fourth set tiebreaker. This is the first time Agassi's been in the situation tonight, though, where he's absolutely had to win, where he was out of here. And so far, so good. Well, he's got to hold this surface hasn't he? Just what he didn't need, an unforced error, which is now only 17 after four sets. 17 errors, that's all. And allow Sampras right back in this tiebreaker. Agassi frustrated. That, that was surprising. That came from nowhere. Yeah. It's a nice. So their change ends at 3 all. This is where they were in the first set tiebreaker. Agassi won that one. The previous two tiebreakers, after six points, it's been 4-2 Sampras. Did you say they nearly had a chat there? <laughs> they had a quick word. You're playing well, Pete. And Andre said to... <laughs> well, here we go. Well, Sampras is the king of these tiebreaks. He does have the advantage with this huge serve. and he's now ahead, and he's definitely the favourite. And he's within three points of winning the match after that 128 mile an hour serve. Within three points of moving into the semi-finals against Marat Safi. Agassi serving at 3-4. It's in, it's in, it's the break. 3-5. Two points from victory. And the good thing for Sampras, next time he serves, he'll have those five points, he'll get two serves and a chance to close it out. So this will be a bonus if he takes Agassi's serve here. Agassi led. 3-1. I'm not sure what happened there? We can't Six see the line yet. It's, it's out. out. So now Pete Sampras has three match points. But keep in mind, in the first set tiebreaker, this is exactly where the score was. And Agassi came back and won it. But now Sampras will get a chance to close it out on his serve. After three hours and 30 minutes, Pete Sampras gets to match point. Can't keep the crowd quiet. Sampras steps back, as you can see. Surely he won't lose it from here. They're just teasing us. <laughs> oh, what a great return from Axie off a wonderful serve. So now one more chance for Sampras to close it out on his serve. 6-4. In the fourth set tiebreaker, there have been no breaks of serve. Each set has gone to a tiebreaker. That's point number two. Just when you need the ace, eh? just when you need that one serve, it's just not there. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> they play on! Six, five. Sentence. No way could he have done that. No way! Still a match point for Santos there. Five, six, Agassi serving. The shades of the first set tiebreaker starting to reappear. Got to get his first serve in for Andre to stay in the match. It's wide. The arm goes up. You can see it clearly now. We've just spotted the line judge. Match point. 
There it is. Seconds. What six, a match. 7-6. Seven, 7-6. Seven, seven, six, seven, six. What a night for those two. There is no loser in that match. But Pete Sampras will get to play in the semifinals on Saturday. A rematch of last year's U.S. Open final. But what Sampras a, beats what, Agassi. What a match we've seen tonight. Saturday will come. But at the moment, we can savor an extraordinary battle. It was a classic. After three hours and 32 minutes, Pete Sampras survives this epic battle. In the 32nd meeting between these two, Sampras extends his overall lead 18 and 14 against Andre Agassi.